I was scared to death. I cried. That was Vicki Taylor's reaction when a doctor first suggested she try ECT, once known as shock therapy. That's the important one. She was depressed, having suicidal thoughts, and medicines were not working. We've tried them all. What's that? Conductant. A little dabble, do you? One flew over the cuckoo's nest stigmatized electroconvulsive therapy for a generation of moviegoers, depicting the procedure as crude, painful, even punitive. Here we go. In the early days of ECT, the procedure involved little or no anesthesia, and it was often forced on patients who underwent frightening convulsions. But then, as now, it works. And generally, the procedure is incredibly safe. We treat 100-year-olds, we treat pregnant women, and often in circumstances where patients can't tolerate meds, it's the treatment of choice. So you're all set up and ready to go. Dr. Jamie Fernandez performed 1,700 ECT procedures at Memorial Hospital in Tampa last year. Yeah. Vicki Taylor is in today for one of a series of eight treatments, more excited than nervous. And because um, I, I know the treatment's going to work. Unlike the old days, patients are under general anesthesia and experience no discomfort. Instead of a whopping charge of electricity, a machine delivers a series of smaller pulses. And though we weren't permitted to record the actual procedure, I was allowed behind the curtain to describe what I saw. First of all, it was quick. It seemed like it was over before it started. And all I could see was Vicky's toes curling momentarily, a little uh, clenching of the fist, and a slight grimace. It was really more of a shudder than a convulsion. Vicky's only side effects have been grogginess from the anesthesia. But for her, it's well worth it. It's like being in a dark, dreary, foggy place. And then all of a sudden, the curtain has lifted and the sun is shining. 